Okay, so I got asked in the comments to do an updated version of Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi 4 because it's changed again, it keeps changing, it keeps getting updated uh, and so the newest version, if you want to find it, go to WOR Pi 4 and uh, click on Windows on Raspberry Pi. Uh, then you click on the download section and you'll see a couple of things in here. So they talk about USB boot is currently unstable, especially if the RAM limit is removed in UEFI. People have reported a better success rate with Windows 10 uh, and they've got a version number there. Uh, Ethernet will not work on Windows builds older than 1904 one. Well, I'm going to go for the latest version. But I noticed this bit in here, which I haven't seen before. Uh, getting Windows images. There's currently only one legal way of obtaining Windows 10 ARM64 images. Download the UUP files direct from Microsoft servers and build an ISO from them. It's not that straightforward. Uh, it took me a while to kind of work out what it what it was doing. But basically, uh, if you go to one of these sites, and I chose this one, uh, click on what version you want. So I said Windows Final Version. Select Version. Uh, and I did the latest ARM64 one, because ARM64 is what the Pi runs on. Select Language. Select Edition. So I did Windows 10 Home and then select type download and I did download ISO compiler. And then all I did was to click on this top link here, so creating ISO. Okay, so I've gone back and added this bit in because I realized it would be a bit tricky without it. So when you click on that link, uh, you can see down the bottom here, it starts to download. Click on open, click on the three little dots and select keep. Then click on show more. Keep anyway. Now more information and run anyway. And click yes. Okay, and now it'll do this in the terminal for really quite some time. Obviously do all this at your own risk. There is a lot of warnings there if you're unsure about things. And I'll pick it up where it's all finished. And for an absolute age it was doing uh, all sorts of things uh, and, and everything was popping up. Now, mine's finished. So at the end of it, you'll get this done, press any key to exit. So I've created the image. So that image is ready to be written to the SD card. But uh, I even had a bit of a game trying to find out where it had stored the image. So if you, if you scroll up, uh, you'll see that here is the location. So C colon users, Lee, app data, local temp, and so on. So all I did was clicked through uh, and got to that, that location. So basically clicking through all of these folders until you get to the location. Once you've got it, that's fine. You can leave that as it is, maybe just put it over to the side, uh, because the next step you'll need to do is to download the WOR tool. And uh, that's from the WOR website. So let's click back and uh, go to downloads and download version 2.0.1. So I've already downloaded it. So all you do then is, well, I create a new folder on the desktop. And I'm, I'm leaving the one at the top there because it's actually writing at the moment. So call this whatever you want. I'll just call this one WOR because I'm going to use the other one. Double click on the zip file that you've downloaded. Click on one of the files and then press Control A, which will select all of them, and then you can drag that over to this tool. So that's basically unzipping all of the contents of the WOR tool over to this folder, and that's where you would launch it from. When you open that folder, you'll have an .exe file in there, and that's what launches the WOR tool. Okay, so click on the .exe file and select Yes. Pick your language and hit next. Pick Raspberry Pi 4 and hit OK. And here we've got the storage drive. So this is our SD card that we want to write to. So click on that and hit next. Click on the image file. Or you can drag it in. In fact, I'm going to drag it in because I've got this shortcut on the desktop. Uh, so once you've navigated to where that file downloaded to, and then you can just drag that into where it says image file and you can see it mounts the ISO image and it comes up with Windows 10 home which was what I selected before 
So hit next. Use the latest package available on the server. And hit next. Use the latest firmware available on the server. And hit next. Just check all the options look OK and hit next and then when you're ready hit install. OK so now that's finished, hit finish, take your SD card out and pop it in your Pi. OK so this bit takes quite some time, I recommend not touching anything, just let it do what it does, let it restart when it needs to restart. It will crash a few times if you have the same experience as me, but just let it happen and eventually you should end up with Windows 10 on your Pi. Okay, so it's all started up and it's all working fine. Uh, what's funny is it's retained the desktop background from my other Windows installation, the one on my Mac, uh, and it's applied that to this, which I didn't think it would do in test mode, but it has done it. Uh, so I'm running it on my 8 gig Raspberry Pi 4. I'm using one of my slower SD cards because it was only one that I had spare at the time and I just wanted to see if this worked. Um, I've got my USB sound card because USB sound isn't supported at the moment. I'll put on screen from the Discord all the things that are and aren't working at the moment. There's always an up-to-date list on the Discord. Uh, so let's jump into screen capture and have a look at that. Okay, so if I move away from the taskbar, uh, it minimizes. And you can see here, test mode, Windows 10 home. Uh, in test mode, you can't do lots of customization, so lots of changing things. So if I do control alt delete uh, and go to task manager, I'm trying to see if it picks up any of the bumps. So at the start of the video, uh, especially if you're listening on headphones or something with better sound, you'll notice there was um, some sort of thudding noises and that was me tapping on my Mac, which doesn't have any rubber on the bottom of it. So it, it is a bit noisy. I need to work out a better way of positioning my mic anyway. So if we go into performance, you can see that the CPU usage is very low. Uh, the memory, so it's only using three gig at the moment. I haven't changed anything in the UEFI boot, which you can use this same sort of method but there's uh, another sort of process to apply. I might look into that at a later date um, because before I've just been getting builds off the Discord, installing them and, and having to do no work at all. With this, you have to put it through a separate piece of software uh, which strips things out and makes it more uh, of an operating system on the Pi because without doing any of these optimizations, so there's no overclock here, uh, there's only using three gig of RAM, uh, it is quite slow. Uh, it's, all, it's all right. I'm surprised at how well, considering this is running the full version of Windows with nothing taken out, I've been actually quite impressed. So we go to LeePSB video on YouTube and I've got a whole playlist on WOR, so Windows on Raspberry Pi. Click on videos. Yeah, it is definitely a bit slower than the, the Discord versions. So let's see if we've got audio coming through all right, because I haven't tested this yet. Want to stand out online? Go to Wix.com and create a professional website that's sure to get you noticed. Just, just turn it down a bit, because I would imagine this mic's super sensitive, so it's probably bigger. Oh, that's 720's playing all right, though. Let's go full screen. Oh, bit of a stutter. Just while it sorts itself out. Well, better than expected. I mean, it's a bit jerky. Uh, this particular bit, there's lots of camera panning. Yeah. Definitely could be worse. Yeah, definitely could be a lot worse than that. Uh, so if you go to my channel, uh, and have a look because there's I often get asked oh does this run what sort of thing works with this what's working uh, if you go to my playlist uh, and then go for WOR on that you'll see a whole list of things that I've managed to get running with Windows on Raspberry Pi with help from the discord and various other people uh, so here it is WOR uh, I actually use CDs and DVDs on it in the last in one of the last videos so if I pause it, yeah, just go through it and see. Uh, this one here was the last method of installing from the Discord. Uh, so there were images hosted on there. I'm not sure if they're still there, um, but uh, if they aren't there, then the newer way to do it is the way I've just explained in the video. And then uh, if you look on the Discord, there are ways to, to tailor it. And also, I mean, I, I normally would optimize it, but I haven't had a lot of time to be able to do it. Uh, but normally I would go through all the settings and optimize Windows 10 for Raspberry Pi uh, just with all turning off various different features. But this is running the full version of Windows with everything installed and all the bits and everything like that. 
So let's see uh, if the overclocking is still working. And also, I usually run at 720 just because you get a performance boost. So let's reboot into the UEFI, which is the sort of boot partition which allows you to make some changes to the Pi. So start, shut down, and restart. And we press escape when it starts. Okay, so before I do that, I need to set the overclocking setting on the SD card. So I've booted up into Linux. This is Twister OS. Pop my SD card in and uh, it should show up. Here we go. So now go to the boot partition and where it says config.txt, open that up. And we need to add our overclock settings to this. I'll use some that I usually use, uh, which is 2147, over voltage of 8, and a GPU frequency of 750. Uh, so file and save. So now what we need to do is boot up with just the SD card with Windows 10 on it in the Pi. So I'm just going to shut this down and boot up with the SD card. Okay, as soon as you're able, press escape and you'll get this menu up. Uh, so we can go into Device Manager. We can go into Raspberry Pi Configuration, CPU Configuration, and I'm going to select Max. Press escape. Display Configuration, and I'm going to select 720. Advanced configuration. So at the moment it's limit RAM to 3 gig. That's for compatibility. But with an SD card it should be fine with 8 gig. So we're going to do disabled on that. So that will give us the full 8 gig RAM of this Pi or 4 gig if you've got a 4 gig Pi. So keep pressing escape. Hit yes. Escape. Go down to continue and hit enter. And then enter to reset. Now it should restart with all those new settings. Okay, so that's all booted up. Uh, so if I do control alt delete uh, let's just double check everything. So task manager, go to performance. So we can see the CPU is 2.15. Uh, we've got the 8 gig of RAM. And uh, we can see that the desktop is running at 720. If we go down to the bottom right, we've got uh, Ethernet showing up. Uh, we've also got our speakers because I'm using a USB sound card. So uh, everything's all up and running. Okay, so if you want to do a custom build, uh, obviously head over to the Discord and you can get the sort of configuration that makes the custom build. Uh, but also, uh, in some of my older videos, I show you how to just sort of speed up Windows 10 in general, so turning off certain effects and various things that speed up the Pi uh, with Windows 10, because obviously the Pi is, is lower spec hardware. Anyway, I hope you like this, hope it helped. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.